So regulatory affairs seems like an interesting field. Uh, what kind of a background do you expect uh, to apply to that field? That's a good question. Um, so it depends on what your background is. Um, I'm a master's in bioinformatics with another master's in computer science. And uh, I uh, under graduation is in maths and statistics. Okay. So there's a whole careers in regulatory, so regulatory careers is, I'm, like when I showed you that, that biogenic tree, there's lots of careers in it, and I didn't really go into detail. But within regulatory careers, um, the IT is needed. So what you can do is apply for positions called, um, I'm trying to look at my book, um, called um, documentation. And what it is, it's being able to be true. It's how you can really you do regulatory careers. There is so much information in an NDA filing, it's three full semi trucks full of paper. Because everything about the drug needs to be documented, which means three huge trucks, okay? And that's all going electronic, which means that there's a lot of IT involved in researchers to how to, to um, archive and retrieve that data electronically. And yeah, now, and the following is really electronic, so there's a lot of IT needs. So there's a good IT careers in your life. Well, so it's at the entry level, you learn how it works, and then you move up. And then you learn how it works, and you move up. So, no, it's not. There are some monotonous jobs, but I wouldn't call that one. Yeah. yeah. But there's IT all over. I mean, there's lots of, and there's a master's in. Let's find out what Now, we have a master's in biosciences right here. There's one thing you might do is look at FDA and see what they've got. Oh, yeah, that's right. 